Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video is about separation sign. Novel ultrasound sign for ruling out diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum. What are the novel findings of this work? In this video, we describe a novel ultrasound marker of normal placental separation called the separation sign which can be used to roll out placenta accreta spectrum. Our findings indicate that a positive separation sign is a reliable predictor of normal placenta separation at delivery. What are the clinical implications of this work? The separation sign should be used by fetal medicine specialists and sonographers to exclude the diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum and pregnancies at risk for the condition. This should prevent unnecessary treatment and iatrogenic harm following a false positive diagnosis. Introduction Placenta accreta spectrum is a term used to describe a range of diseases characterized by pathological attachment of the placenta to the myometrium, which prevents separation at delivery. The greatest risk factor for placenta accreta spectrum is a history of previous cesarean delivery, combined with placenta previa or anterior low-lying placenta, in which placental margin is less than 2 cm from the internal os in the current pregnancy. Separation sign. To assess for the separation sign, pressure was applied using an ultrasound probe so that the hypocoque retroplacental clear zone normally observed between the placenta and the myometrium disappeared. The pressure was then rapidly released in order to generate the force required to see movement. On release, in cases with normal placentation, the non-elastic placenta keeps moving away from the probe after the highly elastic myometrium has snapped back into place. This sometimes causes the placenta either to keep moving briefly or even to bounce and leads to the appearance or enhancement of the clear zone. With a negative separation sign, no separate movement of the placenta from the myometrium can be seen. Grayscale ultrasound images demonstrating the positive separation sign. A. When minimal ultrasound probe pressures is applied, the uteroplacental interface, thin arrow, is seen. B. The hypoacoclear zone as the uteroplacental interface disappears as pressure is applied using the probe, thick arrow indicates the direction of pressure. C. As pressure is released rapidly, the placenta and the myometrium spring rapidly back to their initial positions. D. The placenta then rebounds away from the myometrium in the opposite direction, appearing to either bounce or move slowly, depending on the speed of the release of the probe, revealing the uteroplacental interface and accentuating the clear zone. The separation sign was recorded as positive if separation of the myometrium from the placenta was observed in all areas of the placenta. The sign was recorded as negative if the myometrium and the placenta moved as one structure and no clear zone could be seen over any part of the placenta after release, 
even if separation was noted at the margins of the placenta. Classification into positive or negative separation sign was highly stringent and in cases of any doubt, the result was recorded as uncertain. The latter occurred most often when the images obtained were suboptimal, for example, owing to tissue attenuation, high body mass index, or significant scarring. If women were scanned on multiple occasions, the separation sign result obtained closest to 28 weeks gestation was used in order to minimize differences in scanning over the course of gestation. The main findings The separation sign is an excellent predictor of normal placental separation at delivery. None of the women with a positive separation sign was diagnosed with placenta accreta spectrum. While 87.5% of those with a negative separation sign were diagnosed with placenta accreta spectrum. This novel diagnostic tool was also assessed in women at high risk for placenta accreta spectrum. This is an example of negative separation sign. The arrow is pointing to face the area between the myometrium and the placenta. You can see when the probe pressures is applied and released, there is no clear zone becoming apparent and the placenta is not moving separately from the myometrium. The important thing we have got here that both structures are moving as one. When you look on the positive separation sign, the myometrium is released and the placenta continues to move slowly off. Here you can see there is absolutely no separation between either of them and both structures are moving as one. This is an example of positive separation sign. This sign is reflection of the difference in elasticity between the muscular myometrium and the placenta. After the placenta is compressed against the myometrium, when the pressure is released for brief moment, the placenta appears to continue moving after the myometrium has become stationary. You can see this at the tip of the yellow arrow. The placenta appears to keep moving and the clear zone is briefly enhanced.